Hi there. <coughs> Hello, everyone. And <coughs> sorry, just now when I start to talk, if you if it's like <coughs> there's a frog uh, stuck in my <coughs> in my throat, no sound, no sound. Still no sound. Ah, okay, sound works. Okay, good, 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 good. This is your end, Ben. <laughs> um, perfect. Okay, so hello. That was uh, yeah. I I got uh, Ben. Ben sent me a no sound by, uh, via via back channel, and I was just very confused. But okay, then apparently the sound is working. So welcome to this uh, rather spontaneous three card stream of mine today. Uh, the reason for which is that last. No, not last night, the night before last night. So, the, 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 yeah, uh, yesterday morning I was greeted with a bit of a mess in my office because I have this pack board uh, mounted to some some kind of shelf unit right next to me here. And um, the pack board was fine, but the tape rack that was uh, supposed to be attached to the pack board, uh, the tape rack, yeah, the tape rack that was supposed to be attached to the pack board was not fine, not even remotely. Um, because, uh, yeah, it broke. So, this is the the hook that, actually this way around, the hook that hooked into the pegboard and it is actually supposed to be a bit longer and it just snapped. So um, that made me realize I need to redesign this bit and uh, first of all get rid of a, of a strategically badly placed hole and also um, maybe rethink a bit how this thing is designed or all. And the thing is that I did this still way back in 2020 when I was not yet, rather in, in the first half of 2020 when I was not yet uh, switched over to FreeCAD and I was still on Fusion 360. So I have the original thing that I designed as a step file export, but still I figured I might as well just use this uh, as an opportunity to do another FreeCAD stream, show you how design uh, how to design the tape rex uh, design that I use here, which is basically just two uh, two things that hook into the into the pegboard, and then you have some round arm here into which four, three or four of these um, wooden dowels are stuck, and you have this on both sides, and then you can just put tape on there, and uh, works really well. Only problem, of course, is if there is a weak spot, it will snap right off if there is too much tape on there, which apparently was the case in my case. <laughs> uh, also, I <laughs> keep looking up to where the preview of my OBS is instead of the camera. Sorry, that is a really bad habit of mine that I am still trying to kick even six years into doing streams of any kind. Um, there's still hope, maybe. Yeah, so that is the goal today. I already took some measurements um, of uh, the pegboard spacing, which, by the way, I'm using an, uh, a pegboard here according to American standard. Um, and uh, so we are having, we will see a spacing of 25.4 millimeters or one inch. And the holes are seven millimeter in diameter. So that is what we will be working with here. The round stock, the, the, the wooden dowels are 10 millimeter in, um, in diameter. So that is the, the initial values that we will be working here with. And I just realized I actually should also measure how big I wanted to shape the whole thing. So give me a second. I'm going to fetch the broken part so you can also look at that. Okay, so... um. This is what I meant. So this was attached to the pegboard like this. Here was here was the pegboard, and then uh, the tape can go on these three thingies, and uh, it just snapped clear off on both ends where the fourth um, where the fourth dowel was, which is actually to be expected because if you look at this design, um, that was like the weak point. Oh, that's I think that's the one from this side, maybe. Yeah, that was like the weak point. A really thin wall here. Uh, I'm, I'm covering it up. Really thin wall here. And it just snapped like this. And then everything just dropped. <coughs> and literally went all over my office floor. Uh, and if you want to see how that looked, you can just take a look at Twitter. Because I posted a picture there. Um, okay, so 
The idea, first of all, is to get rid of the fourth dowel because, frankly, we don't really need it. Um, everything just rests on these. And in the back, there is the, the, the pegboard anyhow. So I don't need to, uh, I don't really need this thing. Um, I'm also wondering, and this is also where I'm seeking some kind of feedback from you here, uh, whether it would make sense to maybe strengthen these parts a bit. So currently these are five millimeters uh, in, in depth and I really could also just laser cut this. It's not necessary to use a 3D printer for that, but back then I didn't have anything else. Or did I? M maybe the laser cutter had just moved in, but still. Um, and the reason for this size is that, of course, I just can plug it into the pegboard like that and don't necessarily have to print much beefier. The question is just, is do we want this? Do we need this? Do we maybe want this a bit beefier on one side? So from growing up from the bed or not? I'm not sure yet. But yeah, first of all, I would say we just design the basic shape and then uh, we'll see how we go from there. Uh, and before we start with that, I actually need to figly, uh, to to figly, to figly quicker out to quickly figure out um, the size of the of the arc here, the radius of the arc that I chose, and that is a bit tricky. I think it was a quarter turn, and that looks like it might have been eighty millimeters or ninety. Let's call that in, in, in 90. I think 90 makes sense. A third holder in the middle would also be an option. Yeah, we could do that. That's actually how... So I, I also have a scaled up version of this. Holding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 spools of filament right now. <laughs> so um, seeing this yesterday morning in my office um, made me a bit wary about that because same design just scaled up so for i think 20 millimeter or 25 millimeter dowels so um, once i have this figured out i'll also have to uh, redo that because yeah i'm worried a bit of course the part that snapped here is way way stronger there uh, because i scaled everything up but uh, still also Probably a, a problem I, I, I or, or a rather stupid mistake that I did here. I don't know if you can see that, but apparently I also didn't really choose a, a huge amount of infill here. Probably went with something like 20% or so. And of course here, just here, there is pretty much nothing. There's just like, it's it was only held by the parameter, which of course is a bit suboptimal. So yeah. This time I remember to remove the top cam, cam again. I'm proud of myself. Okay, so let's get on to it then. By first of all cleaning up my work desk again. I'm sorry. Uh. And yeah, also let me quickly just because I just mentioned it. The good news is that the filament uh, is still sitting very snug there and that's also sitting on three of these and three dowels, three of these uh, holders and yeah, but I think that will be scaled up to four and uh, also with a slightly different design and more more beef around as well because I think so. I think here there was something like a millimeter of, 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 of material around that that really was a bit too optimistic maybe on the other hand i figured when i designed this oh there will only be tape on there well i have collected a lot of various tapes duct tape packing tape kept on um uh some other glue stuff and yeah so let's rename that first of all hello oh right i need to save uh, so this is the old stuff uh, the Fusion 360 export I was looking at earlier, but we are going to create a new one here. Oh, right. Copper tape, aluminum tape, uh, painter's tape. At some point, I maybe need to just provide you all with a list of all the tape that I'm storing on there just for, for, <laughs> and gills, but yeah. Um, so, uh, we are going to call this, uh, pegboard tape Greg 2022. 
and uh, we'll start with a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. Okay, and now we need to design the hook structure with which it will hook into the pegboard. And I am going to simply try to replicate what I did for that back then when, which is this basic shape here. So you basically, if this is the pegboard, uh, uh, I'm trying to do that so you actually see something. Yeah, if this is the pegboard, you hook it in like that and then snap it into place like this. And that is quite um, stable uh, once it's in, in place and uh, doesn't just wiggle around or anything, can't, can't fall off easily. So uh, might need a bit of playing around with getting tolerances right, tolerances right again, because of course I did not jot down the measurements that I did originally for, originally for that. So uh, we are going to make this parametric so that I can do some test prints of the hook and then uh, with with not, with not everything uh, attached and then uh, figure out if it fits before I commit to the whole design, but uh, to, to the whole uh, print job. But the basic design can just be done now. So um, let's imagine that uh, the, what is that, the y-axis? I think it's the y-axis, that the y-axis here is the pegboard so um, the basic shape of that thing is um, hard to describe. <laughs> but um, yeah, we also need to figure out where to anchor the whole thing. Um, I'm, I'm, I need a bit, I need a, I need a quick moment to think how best to uh, start with the pack here. Yeah, we are going to do that like this. So this is the pack, the lower pack that goes in to the uh, pack board. Then we have a long piece up here. Then something like the width or the depth of the pack board, which is half a, mil a half a centimeter. Uh, uh, that was not not vertical, uh, horizontal. Let's, let me fix that. Then there comes comes an arc here, then comes an arc back, and we end up somewhere around here-ish. And, oops, I did not intend to go out of the sketch. So these two points are uh, <clears throat> vertical to each other. And... Um, The, the width here is, oh wait, I said parametric, right? So maybe I should also create a, a, a spreadsheet here. So first of all, let's take care of that. We're going to create a new spreadsheet. Was this this button? Yes, I think so. And Ben, before you ask, I have not yet installed the um, Elias thing that you showed me yesterday. So we are going to go with This first pegboard hole dia. We also have pegboard distance. Uh, we also have um, dial dia or dia or whatever, and uh, we also have uh, the whole um, yeah the whole uh, let's let's just call it arc. The, the, the thing where actually everything will rest on. And um, so we said pegboard hole di uh, dia will be seven millimeters. Uh, and we also give it another IC again. Um, yeah. Apparently I was on the wrong. <sighs> There we go. This was supposed to be the one. Uh, the distance is 25.4.4 millimeters. Th 
the dull dia is or dia do i say dia or dia diameter how would do you how would you say that in english please is it more like an i or more like an e No, 90, right? 90, not, not, not that. Diameter. Yeah, but you also say that to the shortcut, dia, right? Just to make sure. Because of course in German it's diameter, diameter and thus I, when I'm, when I'm in, uh, um, moving around in German, thinking in German, then it, uh, then it comes out as dia. So sorry for that, but yeah, so uh, we have all these values, so we're going to save real quick just to make sure nothing goes... Uh, I didn't want to focus the spreadsheet, I wanted to focus the sketch. So the pack, the hole for the pack is 7mm, but frankly I would like to have some bigger room there because otherwise it will fit really, really snug and I measured it earlier. And I came to something like 6.8 actually. So I'm going to go for 6.5 just to make sure that we don't run into any issues here. Um, so just so you know, this is supposed to be 7 millimeters uh, according to spec, but we are going to go with 6.5 millimeters. And now the neighbor rang, but now that's the problem of the neighbor. We have had a package for them for two days. I can't change that now. I'm streaming. So this has um, a size here of... Um, what was it again? Ah, right. Spreadsheet. Uh, peg board hole dial. And yeah, 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 yeah. And I think this one here I actually did five millimeters because of um, reasons that I can no longer remember. We are going to go with what we are actually, what we actually expect here, which is the same thing as below. So again, spreadsheet dot pegboard hold dia. Ah, I constantly forget to click OK. So we have these. Uh, this also has a length of course and frankly i have forgotten what i used there so let's quickly just measure it i think it was a centimeter or something yeah that looks like a centimeter and that we don't need to make parametric because we don't want to adjust it later anyhow it will be thicker during its rotation yeah that's a good point so maybe that was why i made this smaller up here you know what? We are going to um, simply do this, do this. And then we also need to make the distance, um, create the, the, the distance situation here. So we need two points, one point here, one point here, and say that these points here are symmetric to that point in the middle and that these points here are symmetric to that point in the middle and then we can say that these two points have a vertical distance of a spreadsheet dot pegboard distance oh distance well okay we are going to change that at some point but not now okay and this here is going to be um an horizontal dis dis distance of, I think I said five. So now this is fully constrained, but we are not done yet. Yeah, and it is getting a bit crowded here. So let's zoom in a bit. Okay, so now we have, we are, we are going to need an arc here and an arc of, uh, what did I use here? What worked? 12 millimeters, apparently. I don't know why I used 12 millimeters, but it worked in the past, so we will use it again. Or oh, was it 10? Oh no, that was 10. It was a measurement error here. Okay, so 10 millimeters uh, on the outside. So on this, uh, sorry, wait, no, 
on, on this side. So this arc here will have 10 millimeters and it will have the and it will have the center point somewhere around this uh, axis. So we are going to create um, actually we don't even need that. We can make that easier. Uh, we are going to make a, do a three, three point arc that goes from here to here. We are going to say that these two points are vertically aligned. So now I can do this. We are also going to say that these two points are horizontally aligned. So now I can only do this. And then we are going to say that this thing has a radius, which is correct, yes, has a radius of 10 millimeters. And there we have it. Uh, and the same, of course, inside here. So another arc with the same center point and the in... Oh, that was a full arc. I didn't want... Ah, oh, I keep hitting escape when I don't want to hit escape. Apologies for that. So we remove this again and we want an arc, not a, not a circle. So from there to there. And then we also want a line from there to there. And this line is actually horizontal. And now that thing is constrained. And that roughly looks looks uh, uh, the other way around. Now we have it. That roughly looks like this, right? So not completely wrong there. OK, now that is the hook part. What we now want is something that can actually act as a as a bracket for holding the um, the dowels, and I also want that to get a bit of uh, of a lean against the pegboard because if I just try to um, to 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 keep everything there um, on on this on this small thing without any additional um, support from the from the poor physical uh, rotation against the pegboard, then uh, yeah, that 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 would be stupid because that would just cause this again. So the thing that I did with the old one is that there was a bit of of a lean here. So I I, I extended the whole uh, peg, pegboard backing down a bit by. As far as I can tell, something like 25 millimeters. So we are going to do that here as well. So this will have uh, 25 millimeters size. And actually, I should probably put all of these in the spreadsheet, but I'm honestly a bit too lazy right now for that. So <clears throat> that is that. And then I also forgot to figure out how to how big to make these 15, apparently. Oh, they come from the. Yeah, wait. OK, we need something more in the spreadsheet. So we need um, a wall strength because that will determine how big we make the um, uh, or, or rather how, how thick the, the arm will be. And uh, can I just remove the R here and it will be fixed? I can tile the windows? I had no idea. Look at that! Oh, I'm not sure I want that. That's confusing. Help. Ah! No, 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 no. I want this back. <laughs> I need to experiment with this sometime offline. Um, uh, so the, we, we need a wall strength and we are actually also going to um, do what I just did directly. as a value in here so we can uh, reference that instead because it's just cleaner. So you are now spreadsheet.support. Much better. 
and uh, so now we have the dowel and we have the wall that we want around the dowel so that leaves us with the whole size of of things. Um, in that case it would land at 14 millimeters, which might still be a bit too little. We, we'll figure this out. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's see. How do we need to proceed here? I'm trying to remember how I did the... how I, how, how, how I actually started the arc last time and it looks like I did something weird here, but yeah, that is not the first time, right? Uh, so uh, it would go something like this. And oops. And we also have an arc somewhere here that goes from here down to maybe here. I don't know. Do we want 180? No, that's too much, right? something like this and from the same one this is all not measured at all now right i'm just doing this to figure out roughly where the outline is and then we constrain things further to figure out things right now it looks quite drunk somewhat ah. oh god oh god oh god no 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 also, did I mention that this has been a long time since I did this? <laughs> I'm even thinking right now that maybe I think I... Let me try something. That lengthening will return. I just want to figure something out. Oh, crutch. Not, not there. There. Yeah, that makes way more sense. And then we simply lengthen it down here and then put a tangential over there. So you are going to be a helper structure. Uh, not, not external geometry, that thing. And then we go back into the normal structure, lengthen that thing again by 25 millimeters like we did before. Uh, support, right? Yeah. And then from there we put an, a line over to this thing and say and tell it that it is um where was the there tangential ten ten hmm. uh no i did not yet figure out how to increase the poly count of the arcs and is this upside down? No, this is not upside down. So this will be the pegboard and this will be the upside of the pegboard. So, yeah. Okay. But it's way over. Uh, it, it looks weird still because I have not yet dimensioned anything and I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, do stuff here. Um, this is what I was looking for. Because now we do the rest of the actual arc. Uh, I was actually planning on uh, filleting that thing up here instead of now modeling an, uh, a downward arc here, which of course would look way neater than this here. I was just going to fillet it. So do this. And now this should be... No, it has 70... Well, of course it has 70 degrees because... Yeah, okay. What we also need is another point here. That is symmetric to both of these. Uh, rather, both of ah, both of these are symmetric to this one. There we go. And then we need um, to switch to construction geometry and put the same arc. Uh, not the same, but put an arc from that cen center up somewhere here, maybe where it meets this upper line because this is where the dowels will be located right in the middle of things um and then we can switch back to this and actually put some in so we have one arc here one arc here one arc here and that should be enough 
Uh, again, nothing positioned yet. I'm still working on this. Uh, all of these have an equal <coughs> radius or diameter, actually. Let me switch to diameter here. And that is uh, our dowel dia plus uh, we take some minor amount of extra width here just to keep things um, uh, so, so that I can actually slide these in. Though I'm wondering, I think that was maybe too much. We are taking, we are going to go with one two five, uh, uh, two five, uh, oh two five, because last time I remember I had to glue them in because they didn't otherwise fit. Um, yeah, they could be done with a polar array, but I actually want to um, reference or use this to make this whole corner here a bit nicer. So um, this is actually going to be construction geometry and we are going to use an, uh, another arc here centered around this and doing something like this. Um, obviously a little bit neater. Like this. And now we can uh, determine the holes, the whole uh, distance between these two lines by simply giving this thing here a diameter. And that is going to be our spreadsheet dot uh, dull dia plus two times spreadsheet spreadsheet dot wall. And that looks like our wall is way too small. Let's make this three millimeters. I don't trust this flimsy stuff anymore. It did not update this. Why didn't it update this? That is weird. Something is conflicting here. Could, could that be? No. Ah, it just... Okay, now it updated. Hallo Kuchenkerze. Um, okay. Now, what we also need is something that is less arbitrary than just placing them somewhere on here. And also this up here is a mess because apparently it is no longer connected. Yeah, wonderful. You and you are one point and also you look absolutely terrible right now which brings me to the question can I do an angle between us <laughs> no oh wait yeah I can't okay what I can do though is hmm How do I make that so that this up here is a right angle? Do I even want this? I think I want this. Uh, we need construction geometry. Yeah, I can, of course, arc it, but still the problem remains that I want to make sure that this here does not go further than this line, actually. And I can just do this by making this horizontal and we are done with that. So, oops. Ay, ay, ay. Also, I put another one here and now we can determine the angle between these. One hundred and thirty-four degrees. That is one weird angle that I had have there. So what does make sense here? Ninety is too shallow. One hundred. I don't know what would look good here. One hundred twenty. 
135. Yeah, that looks, that sounds good. We, we take 135. You, con you, you convinced me. I was exactly looking for that value, but I <laughs> it's, yeah, it's been a long week and uh, I I have been awake since 10, uh, uh, 10 before 5 because of, uh, let's just say my biological, uh, my, my built-in alarm clock decided to completely and utterly malfunction today. Uh, I did not have to get up before 6 um, and I had to get up this early only because um, I went climbing this morning and they open up at 7. So this is when I am there because then no one else is there, which means it's safe to actually go climb. And I'm also wearing an uh, FFP2 mask and all that. Mm. But for some reason I was way, was awake way, way, way before that. So um, yeah, this is also why I'm drinking my favorite cafe caffeinated beverage of choice. Which I'm not going to name here before anyone claims that I'm advertising, which I'm not. I just needed the kick. Um, okay, 135 degrees. So we need to divide that by three and then we get the position of these things here, right? Does this make sense? Do we want it like that? Or do we want... No, wait, we do something else. We are going to go for 90 degrees and place this, place this one here, 90 degrees to that one. So we make another one of these, put it here and say this, and this is uh, blind there, like that. And then we take yet another one of these, put it there and there, and say this, and this is 45 degrees. And now it's really angry at me. Why? Something here is... Which arc is that? Uh, hey Gumiku, uh, t uh, JP Thiel to to um, to respond to the question about the knee while bowling. Usually it behaves nicely. I'm still scared to death of having to jump with it. I did to do. I, I had to do that today a bunch of times. So um, I'm working on this fear. Uh, it, it is not that it doesn't bear me or 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 hurts or anything unless I I, I did a jump two, two weeks ago that really hurt it so but but apart from that um, it, it was okay after half a day or so again so nothing permanent but uh, it still scares me a bit I also am afraid of heights so that combined with being afraid that I will hurt my knee when I need to jump off is not the best combination but I'm working on all of these fears Um. And uh, now I lost my train of thought. Yeah, and the rest of the time, the most the most problems or the yeah the most problems it still gives me is that I cannot bend it past forty five degrees in our angle or rather below that. So thirty or something doesn't work yet. And today I encountered at least one problem. I think it was only one where I was like, okay, I'm not going to be able to do that um, because I I simply if if I need to grab a foothold that is like at hip level or something like this with this leg, I, I cannot. And some boulder problems force you to do that. So what I'm currently doing is that I check the, the, the things out first and figure out if I will run into any of these problems as far as I can see them. And sometimes I then still encounter them during the climb. And today I uh, did this at one point and just went like, okay, then I'm going to improvise here and worked around it. So that's nice. Um. So all in all, good progress, uh, work on my fear of heights. Uh, now finger tape on two fingers today because I'm actually growing calluses again, but they are not strong enough yet to take up much abuse. So I have some, I left some skin on the wall, but no, no, no blood yet, um, which is good because that will become really painful uh, the next few weeks while everything builds up again, but I'm used to this already, so that's fine bump my elbow but apart from that everything is fine 
Okay, so now to figure out why this thing is apparently over constrained and I somehow suspect this thing here also ha huh, weird Oh, I found that length actually helps you a ton while bouldering. <laughs> like there are some some boulder problems where I I which I simply solve by stretching. <laughs> I don't have that much strength yet. Not that I had that much to begin with, but um, I'm still recovering what I had uh, after the. After the surgery, I, I've only been back on the wall for two weeks, uh, for four weeks now. Um, and uh, that means that I often cannot solve things by just pulling me up. So instead, I'm simply going Ugh! and I'm like one uh, meter, 78, 79 ish. So that, uh, yeah, there is a ton of reach there that I can use, which is nice. Yeah, okay, but the low starts, yeah, when it, when you are cramped in really, really low, that's true. I, I had a, a boulder problem today where there is a there is some kind of, um, of uh, um, how do you say? What's the three-dimensional thing of a, of a cube, uh, of, a, of, a, of a circle? Um, like a sphere, a sphere, right, a sphere. So they have this sphere where you can climb on. And um, uh, I tried one of these where you start hanging basically on the grip uh, over you and ha I had to, to brace myself against the wall uh, next to me with the feet and then try to reach up to a grip. And this is also where I ripped, the, the, ripped some skin off on this hand because I, I kept reaching the grip but not being able to get a hold really. And then I just uh, slipped off again and then raised some stuff off here. But yeah, that hand, the right hand definitely looks better than the left one. Um, and uh, yeah, but I, I like it when I manage to pull these off, but they are tricky. And it's not a coffee energy drink, it's a caffeinated energy drink. Uh, not an energy drink at all, so it is, it's pretty much just a highly caffeinated cola. So if you've ever watched the movie hackers then you know what this drink used to be called before they renamed it here in germany so this is actually actually the mix of said cola with uh, with uh, with an uh, orange lemonade which in uh, germany we call spezi and which is like what i prefer okay so back to this problem uh, let me remove this here really quick because this apparently... Oh. Huh? Why did this... This is annoying. This was better, yeah. Okay. Um, then we said we want something like 80, right? So we are simply going to put the 80, the, the whole size of this whole thing on, on this thing here. And we will do that with, was this 80 diameter or I think it was, I think it was a radius. Was it? I will probably now read that it is called dia. Uh, did we even give this arc, right? Yeah, arc. Yeah, okay, that doesn't look too good. Something horrible just happened, and I have no idea yet what. Right, you? No. You were supposed to go on this, actually. That is one problem. Ah. Let's see if we can fix that, otherwise I will just... Oh. I'm not in my best. Uh, 
Uh, you are welcome, right? Uh, yeah, I fell over Virtue I thanks to a buddy of mine who mentioned it and decided to give it a try for the first stream, actually. Before that, I never used it, and I really like it, so... Uh, you do not see that weasel, but I'm constantly hitting Control s here on the, on the keyboard. I used to have a computer that regularly crashed, so... Um, I kind of still have this hard wired, hard wired from something like 25 years ago. <laughs> okay, so but we still need to get this thing to constrain and something horrible just happened, which prevented this from working. So let's see what else we can do here uh, to constrain it without everything falling to pieces. I'm actually surprised that happened and I'm wondering if some automatic constraint slipped in here somewhere that was causing that. Because that was a really weird issue just now. But it looks okay-ish. I even hit save when I don't change anything, just when I... Sorry, when I have the feeling that I might have changed something. Um. So the problem arises first when we... Arouse, arouse first? Happened first. We saw the problem first. <laughs> when we try to constrain this thing to 45 degrees. And then everything turns red and it's telling us we have a con redundant constraint. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, 71. Can anyone see where 71 is? Is this this one? Oh, that... Is ah, we don't have to... Yeah, because it... Yeah, okay. I feel stupid now. That That needs to go. That is wrong. And that is probably what happened. So again, that ones are 45 degrees. Yeah, now it's happy. Look at that. And now we have uh, one degree of freedom. And that is the location of this thing here. So what we now do is we simply, uh, we simply say that this thing here has a vertical size. There we go. That That is the color that I want to see here of um, arc. Hopefully it will not, yeah, make everything explode again. It didn't. Nice. Look at that. So this is what we were aiming for. Of course, all of these values here make it a bit tricky to see uh, the actual... Blah, uh, make it to see the actual hook mechanism that we designed back here, but you get the, get the idea. Also, hello, Dennis. Long time no see. So, this is the basic design, and if you look at that, it looks fairly similar, right? I mean, obviously this one is broken and this one is not yet, but uh, you get the idea. And what we will now do is um, um, we are going to pet this by five millimeters. Uh, oh, I'm still on the, in the spreadsheet design bench. No, uh, yeah, no wonder this didn't work. By uh, what did I say? Five millimeters. And then we need fillets because we cannot leave it like that. So um, first of all, uh, the thing that Ben has asking for is this up here. Um, and let's say uh, five millimeters should probably work better, right? I mean, we can even make it a bit more. How does 10 look? Just out of curiosity. Actually, nice. We were going to take 10. Ah, uh, isn't this beautiful? Strut the whole thing. Uh, yeah, the the the. Uh, I'm also going to round these up here. I'm just going to go, trying to. Uh, wouldn't it make sense to strut the holding for the holding, <laughs> the holding uh, further down at the position where it touches the wall? You mean like put these down? Or or what do you mean? Uh, gumiku. You mean that one, Wazrel?
that one. Just don't have part that touches the wall extend down until it's at least horizontal to the lowest part of your... Ah, oh, you mean that one even further down and then make it go like that? Oh, but that looks so chunky. <laughs> I mean that would that would look really chunky. A second pin that is actually a good uh, uh, the question is how how the hmm how well that works with the whole slotting in because of course it, it moves on an arc and then it has, has to go into the thing like the like just like build a lip to the inner edge yeah gumiku perfect draw something because right now i'm uh, if you could throw it on twitter <laughs> instead of throwing a, a link into the thing there that would maybe help i'm not sure because uh yeah getting links out of the twitch chat integrated into obs sometimes is a bit of a mess but I have Twitter here open on the left side, so. And I think I'm following you so that you can send me DMs. And if not, I'm going to quickly change that. Uh... There we go. Um... Uh, in the meantime, I will just continue to fill it some stuff, uh, which we probably will then unfill it again later. <laughs> I could make the second pin really short, yeah, but but then it doesn't. Uh, well, okay. Hmm. You mean like make this really short and then put another one, uh, another lo longer one down here, and then combine this possibly with the ideas from Dumi from from Dumiku. My God, <laughs> from Gumiku. <laughs> Ah, I apologize for mangling people's names today. It's a bit bad, yeah. <laughs> that was that was the D from the DJ. That was not the um I did not intend to insult you. I'm really sorry for that uh weird thing that happened. Also, I just got another sketch from Ben. Uh Which is confusing me more than any... Oh, you mean like... Um, so Ben is saying to make another sketch and create a brim on top of the dowels. Uh, if I understand that correctly, just make something like... Like uh, uh, um, an additional pad that just extends this part here further up. That would be interesting. It's always a bit sad, you know, like I always have this in this 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 um this idea to um to to do that symmetrical, but then of course you cannot print it without support, which is the whole goal of this exercise, or rather which is usually my goal to try to be able to print it without support, because uh yeah, supports suck. Um but in any case, we need to round this and this over. Uh, no, that, ugh, there. Yeah. Uh, I have a Twitter DM, apparently. I have indeed. It arrived. Perfect. Now I just have to get Twitter to actually show it to me in a non-transparent way. <laughs> because right now I can't see a thing. Let me quickly save this and... Um, or maybe... Wait, open image in new tab. That might work. Yeah, I, I can see some. Ah, okay. You, know, you, you mean like really... A, 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 Um, no problem. I, I figured it out what you mean. You mean like a, an additional brace that 
goes like this, like maybe, I don't know, 90 degrees from this, from this whole edge down here and up there. So give, give it some real more leverage. I'm not going to share your image to <laughs> I don't know if you would be okay with that. So, but uh, I'm explaining things here. Um, so that combined with maybe an additional uh, yeah, horizontal with the bottom edge is also. Hmm, I don't. You know what? Let's let's just try it. I think it would look way too chunky. On of course, though, we could always. Um, Put some holes in it. Also, uh, DJ Gumiku's uh, idea also contains um, a third pin. So let's 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 return to our uh, sketch and see how we can incorporate these ideas. So first of all, I am going to save. Uh, and then, so the idea by uh, Gumiku, I'm really careful with your name now. <laughs> like, I, I have a bit of a trauma now, accidentally insulting you again. I'm really, really sorry about that. Um, so the idea from Gumiku was something like putting one here and then going from here to maybe here. And, and this there would then not be there. So let's remove that again. So something like this, of course, rounded over and such. Um, the alternative idea from Wazrel is to say we remove. I need to be careful that I don't remove the wrong thing. Ah, okay, this is going to be fun to my. Ah, I got it. Okay, to remove that uh, and instead go like. Um, I'm not the first to say that. I'm. I'm glad to hear. Uh, two pins, one hook. Yeah. Um, to go here and say that this is also horizontal and then combine this with this and also bup, 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 there go do an arc again from here to there and for some reason it's now no longer something here can move and I don't understand what and why but we'll figure this out later. So this would be an alternative idea. It does look fairly chunky. Uh, chunky. Let's see how that looks if we pet it. I'm not sure. I mean, it doesn't really look that chunky. The problem ju just is it, it, it looks so wasted. <laughs> and I mean, the, the place up here is so wasted. Let's let's see how it looks if we do do just that, which uh, ju which uh, what what uh, was we just suggested. So we are going to do something like uh, this is getting really complicated now, something like this. And then um, we are going to attach here and then something there and this is of course going to be um i don't know 10 10 sounds good let's make it make it 10. uh no that was wrong also let's let's maybe do it ah do it with that one instead now i have two i only want one thank you So that would be like this. Considering where the other one broke, that would actually, I think that would help, maybe, hopefully, to Also now this part here is really thick. And if we add a third pin here, that actually could work. So let's, let's see. Um, so we said we want to make this pin here a bit less deep, uh, just so that it goes into the pegboard, but not 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 that far through it, so that we have an easier time installing it with with three, uh, sorry, with two pins and one 
hook, not to confuse people here. So we, we make this five millimeters and then uh, we need to actually remove these lines here. We're going to bring them back right away, but I need to model another hook. So uh, uh, another pin, sorry. Uh, I cannot, I mean, I not at that point at that point i can not not easily i mean i can uh, i can move some boxes out of the way because the pegboard is mounted on the side of the shelf and at that point where this thing is going to be mounted i can remove a box in the upper shelf uh, unit and then in the upper shelf uh, shelf shelf <laughs> um <laughs> yeah board board in the upper board of the shelf and remove it from the back because are you are you suggesting to screw it in or something like that the second pin could be bent with the arc based on the top hook ich i i ich will nix irgendwo rein dübeln <laughs> also the caffeine is kicking in nicely <clears throat> i'm awake now um First of all, let's model a, a, a another peg and then we can figure out how we want to size it. Um, so let's something like this and this and blah, this and then whoops, we go down there again. Did this actually... I'm not sure that I hit this down there, did I? I did, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, right. Um, spreadsheet dot peg for the uh, thingy blah that way. And this actually goes in ah, the whole. No. <laughs> oh God, I shouldn't be spamming escape. Um. The vertical part of the lower support. Okay, wait. Let me read up on everything like that. Um, I'm thinking of removing the hook and instead have it have the pins contain a hole where you can put a nail through. Oh nah, I would prefer to really just be able to slot it uh, to hook it in like that, because I can reach that, but it's a fiddly business. Business. I will have to go on a step stool <laughs> because the 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 whole unit is really uh, deep, and I have to reach right back into that so uh, I have to go on a step stool in order to be able to reach that then I don't see anything I cannot hold it from the other side so if I am able to do everything from the front is, is way better um, the vertical part of the lower support the vertical part of the lower support can be thinner as the force should be going through the horizontal direction straight onto the board you mean this here yeah but I like that to be symmetrical <laughs> for aesthetic reasons. Um, that way you can constrain multiple packs which would share the... Ah, my knee. Sorry. Ah! Be glad that the mic did not pick that up. That... Ooh. It's still popping sometimes and that is ah, a feeling that... Ugh, and also a sound sometimes that is really not that nice. Um, and yeah, I, I understand your reasoning, Gumiku. The problem is just it is the installation would just be really ugh. So tell you what, if this doesn't work out, then I guess I will reconsider it. But for now, let's try to get this to work. Um I'm even also now thinking about four millimeter wall strength, to be honest, but I'm also still thinking on whether I should just cut this out of a uh, three millimeter plywood, two, uh, two of these for, for each and, 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 and glue them together. That's also still something that I'm pondering, to be honest, because I have a laser cutter and I have three millimeter plywood, so I might actually do that to test the fit because that will be way, way faster than printing these. Um, And you know what I think for this idea, I'm going to quickly also add two new, two smaller holes here for M3 screws because then I can <laughs> stabilize that. 
with these. Um, I know this is a bit... Oh, make it three. Uh, okay. That will just make things easier, should I decide to do things slightly different than planned. Ugh, 22.5? Things are getting complicated. Okay, now I have the, screw, the, the laser cut and screw option as well. Um, you could turn the hook 90 degrees and hook it in sideways, which works when you only insert the wood rods after mounting the printed parts. Ah, you mean like, yeah, but no, 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 no. That really is, is, is just asking for it because then every the, the whole force of holding that thing is... I mean, it's not the whole force of holding that thing itself, but it's it's going to be uh, going to rely on the layer uh, on the layer strength and uh, oh, nah. oh, that is a good idea, yeah. But now I I did it with angles, so. Also, yeah, I will always only use screws and not nails for everything, but... Okay, so uh, we actually were still working on that thing here, right? Before I got distracted. Um, 10 millimeters. And we also need a point in the middle. And when I say in the middle, I really mean in the middle. And we need to make these distanced by the pegboard distance, which is no longer called backboard, back pegboard distance. And something here is weird. No, it just looks weird. Uh, we could actually go with a fourth, but I think three should be fine. How about this? Of course, with more uh, fillets, but... Um, I mean, this obviously will need a fillet here. And we are actually going to use this one as well. Wait. Ooh. It cannot do that. Why cannot can it not do that? It's one of these moments where I it can do that. It can do ah, that was simply too much, okay. How does this look? Uh, yeah, good point. Not yeah, yeah. I should not do everything just so it's aesthetically aesthetically pleasing. We are going to remove you. You mean like that? Uh, also, this needs uh, some more little love. There we go. Uh, I don't get drop frames, no. Everything looks fine and green here on my side. Wait, why? What are you seeing on your end? No. 
no answer. Yeah, probably Twitch because as I said, so I have here, I have no drop frame, not a single one actually, which is a new, uh, a new thing here really, and uh, only four percent CPU usage and something like that. So I don't know. It's definitely not my internet, I think. Maybe some peering issue in Germany? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, reload fixed it. Then it was something, some uh, probably some pro problem by uh, by Twitch. Okay, so I'm currently trying to decide whether to give this a try on the laser or on the 3D printer. The problem is that whatever I decide on giving this a try on will not happen on st on stream because both are currently not ready to uh, to 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 run uh, immediately. Especially not the laser because there is a sh whole shit ton of stuff on top of the of the of the of the of the lid. So uh, fourth screw hole, you mean like here? Yeah, probably a good idea. So we put it here. Wait, no. Ah, uh, can just immediately do this. Hey, you. You are equal. Hooray! Rejoice. There. That actually looks way more sturdy than the old one. And uh, I usually would say, yeah, uh, putting some bevel here would make sense for the printer, but I already gave them some margin, so I think think I should be fine there, which a bezel would not, or, or rather fine in so far that if it doesn't fit with without the bevel, it will also not fit with the bevel, bevel because then the problem is probably inside with some seam line or something that, that, that gets in the way. But all in all, I think this should work again. And hopefully the construction up here should also work nicely to make things uh, be a bit more stable and properly anchored. And cutting it out of two times three millimeter. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a shot on the laser later. Uh, but just out of curiosity, if we were to... That still has a needs a name. Uh, why, Daniel? Why do you uh, chamfer the side that goes on the print bed? To to uh to get rid of uh, elephant foot or what? Piggy pink. God no. Ah. Weasel. Do your thing. <laughs> Oh, wait, I was faster. Great, now I cannot leave this stupid window again. Ah, sorry, I was just, yeah, banning someone. Um, uh, removal is not a problem because I have flex bed, so I just go and everything is fine. Uh, no, no, no problem, Weasel. I was just like uh, going eh, and then I actually I, I went to ban the dude. Then I remembered that you have mod rights and then I was already in the menu. So I figured uh, I can just do it now myself. Oh, also high survivor. Um, uh, 
Uh, yeah, so what did I want to do? I wanted to export this. This is what I wanted to do. So we are going to um, do this. And then I realized that I don't want an object. Oh, that is still selected from our last experiments in that regard. Packboard, tape rack, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. And then I need Cura. I will never understand why in one second it goes up on this screen and then in the next one it goes up on the other, but who cares? Oh, uh, that was bright. Yeah, I think I get two of these at least on the bed at one time. Uh, also, what I did is before I'm actually going to print these, so I'm going to try with, with laser cutting first because I ordered some um, some uh, green tech um, carbon fiber um, from uh, Extruder. They sent it off today, so I hope it will arrive sometime next week, and then I'm going to try to print that in that. Um, and in the meantime, I'll try my luck with uh, the laser cut. And then, I mean, if I'm completely happy with the laser cut, then we'll see if I actually print this in CF, but um, yeah. Uh, okay, but for now, if I were to print that in Extruder and X2, then... Uh, not with 20, I'm sorry, <laughs> not with 20 million, uh, 20 percent, but let's say 50. Or maybe, yeah, 50 should really be enough. Solid, but solid is going to take ages. This is already taking one hour. And let's let's check the preview. I mean, look, that is pretty much solid. I don't think that we actually need to go all the way more than 50%. That that should really hold plenty. And it's not like I'm storing 10 kilograms of filament on this, uh, more like on the other one. <laughs> um, but... And no, I'm not ordering... Uh, I did not, I'm not cutting carbon fiber, but... Um, uh, I, I ordered a carbon fiber filament for the printer, not for the laser cutter. Uh, also, good idea with the parameters. Uh, where, 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 where were they again? Dum, 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 dum. Layers, walls are ah, there. Three. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do that. I mean, we can actually even go for four. Then this part here is pretty much completely solid. And it will not really add much to the overall print time anyhow, because perimeters are pretty cheap. How about this? That looks okay, right? Hi, Psychorama. Even more parameters, we are already at four. Okay, then we go down to 30% again. 30, I said, and go up to another. Oops. Ah! Happy with that? Or do we go to for Ah, oh, come on. Now we go all in. Six parameters, huh? I mean, yeah, we really don't need them for these holes because they are only meant for the laser cut approach, but... Hook is up here. I 
And with these many parameters, we are actually going to go down to 20 again, because that's my usual amount, and that is sufficient in most cases. Yeah, let's go for 25. There we go. Uh, I can do modifier shapes, I think, but it's been a while since I used them, so I'm a bit at a loss right now. <laughs> uh, let me see, what do we have here in re with regards to options? Yeah, but just out of curiosity, let's check if this would actually help anyway. Um, oh no, that was a support blocker that I can play. Sorry, it was not uh, modifier shapes, I think. Ah, we are going to leave it at that. So, um, but we do need two of these. So two of these would cost me something like three hours. Uh, nah. I'm not going to print that now out of the regular old PLA that I currently have on hand. That's just a waste of filament. But what I can do... Nah, I'm going to laser cut that later. Okay, so um, I would say this is pretty much a success. I mean, that will probably need some fine-tuning. But what I'm going to try now is... Um, this is the tape rack, right? Let's see if we can scale this up. Um, just with some weird numbers for now we don't actually need this here anymore but regardless um we will leave the these and these values here but we will increase the dowel dia to uh what did i say i think 22 millimeters is what these things are uh and the arc to what's the regular size of a give me a moment uh. Twenty. Is twenty enough? I think twenty is enough. Eh. Uh, so not twenty, but two hundred actually. The wall will get five millimeter treatment. Five millimeter. And now we are going to go here and hope that nothing has broken. But everything has apparently broken. Wonderful. Or at least it doesn't look like it scaled it up or... Yeah. Some stuff apparently did not work out as expected. Or did it? I'm not sure. Oh, it did actually. Look at that. So it scaled up nicely. So this, like that now, could be used as a filament rack thingy. Um... So maybe I should, in this case, extend the amount of uh, packs back here. But yeah, so that scales, that works. But we don't want these values here now. But actually the small version for the tape rack. So uh yeah i think we are done here for now because the other stuff needs to be done uh asynchronously but i'll post an update on twitter once i've thrown that stuff on a laser cutter and also once uh, i actually have my hands on the carbon fiber filament and then i can also see how it prints uh, i will probably just cut out the upper part here as a test as a first test on the on the laser to see if it fits um which will be way faster than printing this stuff. I guess, yeah, cutting this will be maybe... Uh, I, I'm really bad at guessing that right now, but we will see. And uh, I also hope that I soon will get my hands on some on some dinner um, before a late 
or before an evening uh, board gaming session, actually with Wasril, um, virtually of course, because uh, that would otherwise become a bit tricky given the distance. Uh, Aliens are probably going to kill us. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you ever get a chance to play a round of the board game Nemesis, I can highly recommend you to do that if you are even remotely a fan of the Alien franchise, because that is pretty much Alien, not Aliens. Aliens would be uh, uh, would be the the aftermath expansion, but Alien uh, the board game, just with slightly differently named uh, xenomorph thingies and. Uh, a lot of horrible, horrible things that go wrong and go bump in the night. And yeah, so wish us luck, please, because that is going to be intense, probably. Either the whole ship explodes around us again, like last time, or um, or we win. So the, the, the yeah, and, and until very late, it is pretty much it, impossible usually to say which will be which. And we are still playing it cooperatively, cooperatively instead of uh, semi-cooperatively, uh, semi where the people then also start to backstab you, and, this, and the game is still tough as, uh, tough as nails. So, a lot of fun. Um, anyhow, apparently my uh, my partner just notified me that uh, he's uh, he's gone out to fetch dinner, so that is nice. Um, and I will use the time that he will be gone to fetch dinner to clean up the laser cutter so I can go a bit pew pew here and uh, yeah I'll give you an update on Twitter on how everything like this goes and the next time that I have some idea on uh, something that I need or, or a need for something that I need to, to do in FreeCAD I will of course do another Twitch stream because apparently this works nice now for everyone involved. I even just the other day thought it would really be nice to have a magnetic mounted uh, magnet mounted um, holder for the for the paper towel roll because right now it's just sitting on top of the shelf which is really annoying because sometimes it then falls down and uh, rolls itself off across half the floor and the shelf is magnetic so i do not want to mount it on the pegboard because that is too far away i want to have it a bit closer but yeah so that would be also an idea i'll i'll see if i do that soon or later or something but this is at least something in the pipeline and until then have fun happy printing if you happen to own a 3d printer and uh, i hope i could motivate some of you who are not yet uh, into free uh to to give it a try uh also also uh obviously uh, at least one success there <laughs> thank you for the kind words dog runner um and uh yeah uh, just to also say that maybe again, because uh, uh, a lot of people uh, tend to uh, tend to ask me that on Twitter as well. And so uh, I used to use Fusion 360 until September of 2022, uh, 2020, yeah, 2020, um, when they did the first round of all their uh, their, their maker license uh, revocal stuff and uh, you could no longer ex ex export uh, step files or something. I think after a lot of bad press, they put this back in for a while. I'm not sure what the state is right now, but anyway, that was the push that I needed to give FreeCut another try because I figured uh, I would rather invest into learning an open source solution that can be taken away from me instead of investing my time into something that while really nice to use, I will admit, um, I was just at the mercy for using of, of, of uh, AutoCAD, uh, Autodesk. Uh, and so I sat down over a weekend, did a lot of uh, um, cut design challenges, and that is pretty much what I needed to get started here. So uh, I can only recommend that. Um, yeah. So uh, I also still need to write a blog post about how I did my switch, because I figure that will also hopefully include some helpful pointers for people. But yeah, still, I'll throw this up on YouTube uh, in 24 hours or something like this. And uh, I have a link to for, for these challenges, Survivor, but I do not want to mention the name here because they are from a competing product and uh, of, 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 of Fusion 360 and FreeCut, and they seem to have a very strong copyright license when you somehow use these challenges with other cut software, but I'll shoot you a message on Twitter. Uh, yeah. And that is that. Uh, yeah, take care. And uh, I'm going to clean up the laser cutter, send a job to it, and then I will hopefully have dinner and then later get killed in Nemesis. <laughs>
Okay, take care. Bye.